Bulls Nation, it has been a long, long time since the Chicago Bulls have played almost a week. And in spite of that, with the game, upcoming game against the OKC Thunder, we still have some Bulls news to discuss. Looking forward to that third game against the Thunder, in which we should be competing. And ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long time. A lot of you are still excited, still pumped, and the Bulls have shown something to us this season. So we're waiting for the Bulls to see if we can continue our, our strong performances, but this time pick up some victories. So without further ado, let's talk about the Chicago Bulls news in this video. Let's do it. What's up everybody? It's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video. Today we've got a Chicago Bulls video in relation to the injury comebacks for the Chicago Bulls. The players that have been out due to NBA protocol or out due to injury that could potentially be coming back against the Oklahoma City Thunder, making our team much more stronger and making our team have a little bit more depth so we can fumble around with some uh, with some minutes, some rotations, and potentially find ways to get even closer and potentially better victories. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on. I do have to say thank you for all of the support over the past week, and I know I haven't been uploading as much as I would like, and I do plan whether the NBA gets suspended, which is still a conversation to be had, or whether um, we still continue our games. I'm going to try my best to make up for the time that I've lost with the time coming forward and upload some videos that I think you guys would like to see. Speaking of, this is the first one of many Chicago Bulls videos that will come out over the course of the week. And the first piece of news that I do have to talk about and pretty much the only news that has been going around for the Chicago Bulls is the injury news. Now, we're going to take this uh, in a one player direction. We're going to talk about one specific player before we get into another player and see how just how important they are to the Chicago Bulls. And the first thing that I want to talk about is Otto Porter Jr. Now, Otto Porter received back spasms against the LA Lakers, didn't play that second half and missed the Clippers game. It looks like with this week break, we did not play against the Celtics, by the way, due to an outbreak on the Celtics side, uh, which led to the Celtics postponing a lot of their games. And with that being said, the Chicago Bulls had nearly a week off since that Boston game, heading into the OKC Thunder, and it looks like Otto Porter looks it looks like he'll be back and ready to go for the Chicago Bulls. Billy Donovan has said, I believe that he's optimistic that uh, Otto Porter will play. Now, Otto Porter's a big, big part of this team. Uh, I understand that. Uh, he is injury prone and so far this season he's gotten injured so that doesn't change that none of that changes the fans that say the Otto Porter is injury prone they're still correct same with the people that say Lowry is still injury prone you're still correct but when he does play he's very important to this team and the reason why is that we've gotten a lot of our wins having Patrick Williams and Otto Porter as the wings on this team and being able to go a little bit smaller, play small ball. And that was our best lineup. And that was the best way that we find victories for this team. And that is all fine and good. That's actually very, very good that we have that lineup to rely on, including our bench whenever it's needed to have that wing lineup, to have that small ball um, lineup to go and win games. And it has done very, very well for us. So Otto Porter playing in that small ball team, playing as that power forward or that small forward, the three or the four, it's very, very important for this team to have someone like that, to be able to be versatile and someone that I believe Otto Porter is. He's very versatile. He can guard a lot of positions and he's a good spot up shooter that can play in nearly every position on the court. It's a very, very good asset to have. Now, if he has to stay healthy, back spasms is not too serious, which is why that he's only missed a game, basically two, one and a half games and he's back. Very, very simple uh, things to recover from. Again, sp back spasms, are, 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 it's, it's, annoy it's an annoyance. But he feels good, and it looks like the Bulls are ready to keep him playing, and hopefully he plays against the OKC Thunder, so I think he'll be very useful there. The second player I want to talk about is Ryan Archidiakono. Ryan Archidiakono was an NBA protocol due to contact, contact tracing for... Um, for the virus due to obviously two of our players having it he was one of those people that was in close contact to one of those players and now it looks like he should be back and returning to against the okc thunder once again very 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 good sign now archie diakonos a player there where 
He's not going to get the most minutes. He's not going to be the most exciting player to watch in terms of returns. Uh, but I do think that with this team, the way it's heading, Archie Diakono can still be a good asset. Again, the, we, we need to find players that can actually not turn the ball over as much. And I think Ryan, Ryan Archie Diakono is one of those players. He won't turn the ball over as much. He likes to get people in the set plays. And he's a decent shooter when he's aggressive. But Ryan Archie Diakono overall... It's just another body to have to this team. We are very short manned at the moment. We're having Ryan Archidiakono back and playing, because look, he is going to play. I think he will play. Having him back and ready to play is a big step in the right direction. Same with Otto Porter and same with the other player that will go in in, um, in just a moment. But very, very, very strong sign that Ryan Archidiakono is back. He's ready to go. He's healthy. He's out of NBA protocol. He's been training with the team. Big, big, big signs in the right direction. The Bulls are getting their players back. That's very, very good. And with two players that are still in the NBA protocol, that are still technically um, quarantining in terms of Sadaransky, we still have a long way to go before we get our entire team back. But it's good to see a lot of our players coming back. Last but not least, we have Larry Markkinen. Yes, one of the best performers for the Chicago Bulls this season, who has been out to a left knee contusion or left calf contusion, and then he ended up aggravating that injury, then put himself in NBA protocol for close contact tracing. It, there's been a lot of things that kept Larry Markkinen out for the last two weeks, but finally, he looks like he'll be ready to go against the OKC Thunder once again. This is probably the biggest one out of all the players that are coming back. Larry Markkinen, a guy that's been phenomenal this season, has played four and he's played five off the bench at power forward and center off off of the bench sometimes and he's done very very well now i want to see that continue with larry marketing he has been the backup five for us at times in terms of playing starting power forward as well he has done a lot of things in terms of versatility on this team i'd like to see that continue i'd like to see us use different rotations use different uh, dilemmas, have, have have multiple ways to play on the court, have the offense or the defense of the other team find it really difficult to guard you. That's a big step for the Chicago Bulls to have someone that can shoot the three, that can drive to the paint, that is still finding his way in the post and he's done very well in the post so far this year. A guy that's been shooting lights out so far. In my opinion, Larry Markin is going to be big for this team. Now him and Thaddeus Young, I don't think have played together yet. And that could be another uh, direction we're going where we're playing Thaddeus Young and Larry Markkinen to bring more offense into this team. Maybe we put Larry Markkinen as the starting five or the backup five and have Wendell move to the bench. That could be something that we could see. We have a lot of ways to go here. And that's why Larry Markkinen is important. That's why all of our players are important, especially in the team that is trying to find its best rotation to try and find multiple ways to win a game. In their first year with the, under Billy Donovan, it's going to be difficult. And the fact that Billy Donovan has been very limited in the resources he can use take, makes it 10 times more harder. But the Bulls are doing something this year. And hopefully these players come back will only extend and progress the growth that the Chicago Bulls have had. Now, I'm not going to say all these players are going to play off the bat. There could be some minute restrictions. There could be potentially players that don't play against the Thunder, but they're ready to go. And that's the most important thing. They're called upon and they'll be there. That is the most important thing for the Chicago Bulls. That is something that I'm going to be extremely happy about. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the injury news for the Chicago Bulls. Obviously, there was big trades that happened yesterday. James Harden went to the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, big man Jared Allen, I believe, went to the Cavs, which I think is a massive loss for the Bulls because I think we should get him in free agency. I will do. Ma I will make a video about that soon, I promise. But obviously, the Chicago Bulls have a tougher East now to face with James Harden coming into it. So again... We have a lot of competition here. It's not going to be easy. We've shown that we can come close. We can compete against the top sides and we can do well. But now it's time to formulate those performances with some wins. And we've seen nearly a week off for the Chicago Bulls. We have a game against the OKC Thunder who have been fairly decent this year, but obviously are not up to the level of what the Bulls should be. So we should go there and compete. And let's see if the Bulls can do that. And hopefully the Bulls will walk away with another victory under their name. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. My goodness, it feels good to be back making videos. I will try and make my videos daily again. I am feeling a little bit better. I'm still just a little bit not there yet, but 
as you, hopefully you could tell, I am feeling fairly good today. I'm feeling very happy. I'm feeling very motivated. And let's see if we could get some more videos out there for you, Bulls Nation. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Take care.